Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my first impressions reaction to Good Omens. This is a series uh, by Neil Gaiman. And, yeah, I know a little bit about it, but not too much. But it has been a series that has been on my radar because it stars David Tennant. Um, and David Tennant I know from stuff like Doctor Who, and I've always really enjoyed him as an actor. Um, apparently he's also in uh, Marvel's Jessica Jones. I have not seen that, but maybe that could come in the future. Um, I've already started checking out some other stuff within that kind of scope, like Agent Carter and Daredevil. Um, so, if I could check out those, maybe I could check out Jessica Jones, or Luke Cage, or Iron Fist, or whatever all the others are. Um, but, either way, so, what do I know about this series? So, I know that David Tennant's character is a devil named Crowley, a demon, not devil, but yeah. And then there's also an angel, and I can't really pronounce his name. I don't know how to pronounce it offhand. Um, I think it's something like a Zephyrel or something. I, I could be entirely wrong. I'm not, like, looking at it right now, so there's that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, I guess we'll see. But I believe that they're working together to stop the Antichrist or something. Like, I think that's the general idea behind this series. I don't know. I haven't actually seen it. I've only, like, read about it. I, I've seen, like, maybe one clip once, and I don't even remember if I even did. <laughs> um, but yeah. I've been kind of interested. I've whew, wanted to check it out and just never got around to it, so I thought we could do it first for first impressions. Neil Gaiman... Uh, is getting attention lately for his uh, series The Sandman coming out on Netflix um, based off of a graphic novel series he did. Um, and then uh, he's also done other stuff, like you might know him for Coraline. Um, he actually is the original writer of Coraline that the movie is based off of. He also wrote a couple episodes of Doctor Who. And on top of that, he's known for stuff like American Gods and various other things here and there um, that have also gotten adaptions and whatnot. Um, so maybe we could check out some of those at some points as well. Um, but yeah, this is the one for today, the one that I want to check out. Uh, I will say, though, in regards to checking out some of the others, I will be watching The Sandman on my own time. So that won't be coming in the future. Um, that, that's something I want to watch on my own. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm very interested to see what this is like. Um, obviously with the main characters being angel devil with like the antichrist kind of idea being in it, obviously there's going to be a lot of religious, uh, ideas to it and everything, uh, specifically Christian religious ideas. Um, gotta specify that. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I, I don't know, like, how accurate to the Bible, like, that kind of stuff's going to be. How many, like, things they're going to take um, some liberties on, obviously. Oh. oh, excuse me. But I don't really care, <laughs> honestly, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm just being honest here. Um, I, I'm just wanting this to be entertaining, um, I don't care how accurate it is to religious texts or te texts or whatnot. Uh, that doesn't matter to me. Um, as long as it's entertaining. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just hoping it's good. Uh, David Tennant will probably be good no matter what, because it's David Tennant. Um, and we'll see where it goes otherwise. I don't also know what kind of series this is. I think it's partially comedy. But I don't know if, like, there's a lot of action, if there's a lot of, like... I mean, obviously there's supernatural elements, but I don't know if, like, there's really... If that they really heavily lean into that. 
I don't know if it, it's like more of a drama or, or I, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see. Uh, like maybe comedy is it, it, its first and foremost genre. It, I mean, it very well could be. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's just get into this. Find out. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts. <sighs> Sorry, sorry about all the awning. Uh, everything after that will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing... No, I am not. What am I talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting all mixed up here, apparently. Uh, <laughs> um, so thank you so much for tuning in. And for now, I will see you at the reaction and we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in three two one now that was good <laughs> like pretty damn good uh really interesting uh and and progressed a lot quicker than i thought so i guess the series is going to be specifically centering around the proposed armageddon and how that's going to occur or not basically excuse me because this this progressed a lot quicker than i was expecting um not going into it knowing much i mean with with usual stories of the antichrist it's usually like goes a lot further into things like with the antichrist being an adult and kind of taking over from like political office and stuff like like check out left behind for examples of that um but this time it's like oh the antichrist is th this is i guess more like the omen which i mean good omens i guess kind of makes sense even down to like damien being one of the proposed names um where it's like oh the antichrist ends up being a kid and everything and it's like when when shit starts going down um, and the hellhound aspect was definitely interesting. Um, I apologize for all the yawning. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I'm not like altogether tired, but, um, the driving force for this though was 100% Michael Sheen and David Tennant. They did a phenomenal job. They were funny. They were interesting. They were, uh, likable and well acted and yeah it makes sense with two very good actors portraying them um it, it's interesting to see their kind of honestly friendship despite them being from you know two very different places and seeing how they interact with and react to each other um there's definitely a lot of the religious uh I ideas here and everything the christian re religious ideas um obviously it kind of centers around that and even kind of makes fun of it a bit like we go into adam and eve at the beginning and everything briefly shows oh the serpent comes out of the ground tempts uh tempts eve who tempts adam in return and they leave the garden of eden and uh <laughs> Ezephiel, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll get the name down eventually, gives, uh, gives Adam his fire sword, I guess, and, and then we see him kind of in the background at one point fighting a lion, and it's like, why is there a lion in the desert? Why? why? <laughs> and apparently, um, according to this, like, Eve was already with child at that point, with, uh, that would be Cain, I believe. I, I think Cain was the older of the two brothers. Um, but yeah, it's like... What? <laughs> I, I don't think it, like... I, I don't think Cain and Abel were, like, right out of the Garden of Eden and everything. Like, I, I think that was, like, some time later. I might be wrong about that. I don't know for sure, but... Yeah, it's like...
really interesting takes on everything. And then the fact that the, due to miscommunication and everything, the Antichrist got mixed up in like where where he was supposed to go. And everything was pretty funny. Instead of going to like this uh, political family, this American political family ends up going with this uh, this like really not really not I wouldn't say poor, but not super well off British family. Um, and it just kind of like worked out in terms of timing and everything. Uh, and, and yeah, it, it goes throughout uh, after the birth. You see, it like, goes to five years later. We get to get a glimpse of them and see how um, Crowley and Ezefrel are uh, handling things to try and like balance it out. And then it goes into six more years later and kind of the starts of where everything's supposed to go with Armageddon and things are not what they see. How is this going to affect things? There's a lot of questions in regards to that. Because Adam, the, the true Antichrist, grew up with a very normal lower class, lower middle class maybe, life. Nothing too special and no big like influences outside of just normal human influences uh he seems to be a good kid i mean nothing wrong with him he, he's not a brat or anything he's just a normal kid uh pretty neutral i would say which is what crowley and uh Azifra were uh planning that's what they wanted to do with uh warlock which by the way that is so fucking stupid uh <laughs> But a lot of celebrities and politicians sometimes name their kids weird things, so it's like, I mean, it's 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 kind of ridiculous sometimes hearing some of these names. It's it's a really fucking weird name though. Um, it's just, it's insane. It's wild. What where is this going to go? How is, you know, the Antichrist? How is Adam coming into his powers going to work? He has the hellhound with him named Dog now. A lot of questions. And how quickly... How quickly are Crowley and Ezefrel going to be able to find Adam and find out, like, you know, what happened in the first place? So, yeah, just a bunch of questions as to where this is going to go. Um, but since this is a first impressions reaction now we have to determine whether or not um i think this will be good going forward for reactions um or if i'd rather watch this on my own time or if i just didn't like it well i clearly liked it i mean that much we can say right off the bat um as for whether i would want to watch it as reactions or on my own time i think I'll say, I think I would rather watch this on my own time. I, I know, I, that might be surprising because I, I did really enjoy this and all, but I think this is a series that I, I don't want to really react to. Because I, I don't want to, it, basically it boils down to, I don't want to have this on a schedule. I want to have this series be something I can watch whenever I feel like it, whenever I can it, it feel like getting to it. I don't want to have it on a schedule. I don't want to be forced to get it out like on a weekly basis or anything. It's not how I want, I feel like I want to enjoy this series. Um, so this is going to be something I'm going to watch on my own and kind of go from there. Um, but I will say I did very much enjoy it, obviously. You could tell I was having fun. I was joking around with it. Um, but yeah, it's something I'm going to watch on my own. Uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this first episode nonetheless. Uh, and maybe, maybe I could end up doing a review somewhere down the line if I feel necessary to. Um, but tell me your thoughts, like I said, down below in the comments. And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.